Welcome back to Let's Play the Old Republic Sith Warrior Storyline. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and this is Jorviak. And I've probably decided on about a half dozen pronunciations of his name. And in any case, we are headed to the tomb of Tulak Horde. I have it on decent authority that we're going to be receiving our first companion after this story quest. So, even though we have more quests in the tomb of Tulak Horde, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to speed through to the story and then get the companion as quickly as possible and then I'll start trolling for say groups for our heroic plus twos and whatever okay Lord Renning's research ouch I'll take the stems though and Vemrin the monster Yeesh. Good deeds were done, and supplies were sent to us as a result. <clears throat> Good stuff, everybody. One more level, and we'll be able to afford commendation gear, or we'll be able to use it. We're still a ways off from actually affording it. Okay, so the tomb. Oh, goodness. Careful about getting stuck, everybody. And if you do get stuck, type slash stuck into the chat and you will be unstuck. Through the magic of the force. <clears throat> Just had some salty foods before I would rec before I recorded, because um, I figured that would be a great idea. The servers are going down in about an hour for maintenance, which will obviously limit the amount of time that this session is going to take. But I'm hoping to get our first companion, Vet. That said, let us now proceed into the depths. Okay, the antechamber is our first destination. Let us therefore get to it. Wish I had a sprint command. Oh, it looks like other people have companions too. I'll check the hollow pad. Blasted mining droids. We're tougher than I thought. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, but I hope whoever is watching this will honor me. Escaped slaves stole weapons from the academy, fled into this tomb. They reprogrammed the mining droids. Without those droids, the slaves won't survive. Tried to take them down myself. Didn't work out. Those bastards. Destroy slaves. enough rogue droids, and the slaves will die. Teach them not to cross the Sith. Well, I am a patriot in my heart, everybody. So, by all means, rogue droids will die. Rebel scum. The organizer dies first. Wow. Thanks to our rested state, even these criminal scum are giving us a decent bonus. Yeah. These reprogrammed droids aren't playing around, are they? I probably don't need a save reward, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I definitely don't need it. And boy, am I gonna regret not having that against, oh, say, multiple enemies. Just for instance, all right, the antechambers first. This actually isn't too big of an area, which I appreciate. Playing through all the different classes really gives you an appreciation for how different the storyline and the areas are. Such as, oh, for instance, Ward Mantell on the Republic side, which is fracking huge, and everybody pretty much hates it, and I include myself in that everybody judgment. Yeah, we're totally good. I will... Okay, now I'm good. Our objective is actually in this room. I don't like that he dodged that. And since he's not a standard enemy, my stun moves won't work particularly well. 
He also appears to be capable of defying physics, so maybe I shouldn't cross the Shyrax. The enemies are actually on our level. That's weird. They seem a little under level. Maybe that's just because I'm so pure awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm thinking for my advanced class specialization, I'm thinking Juggernaut. Although, I'm planning to go Juggernaut on my uh, Jedi Knight so-and-so, or I'm planning to go the tank option for my Jedi Knight, so I'll think if I want to diversify. Huh. Okay, that was Shard 1. There's not really a reason to kill these Shyrax. I do want that security chest, though. So I will take that. No, no, I think I'll take my leave. Ooh. Leatherous jacket. The dueling coat probably looks a bit more stylish. I don't know, that's okay. It's, it's a little worse, but I'll take the hit in the name of good armor. At least for now. At higher levels, you can be a little more discerning and you can, you know, mod your gear to keep it current if you like the aesthetics of a particular bit of clothing. But here? Hmm. Alright, all the criminal scum is still dead. That's just fine with me. The ruined atrium. Oh, big place. Imperial medical droid. I don't know how you survive out here, but hey. I'm just glad to see you. And then this. Really a great way to start a fight. To deprive the enemy of just the enormous amount of their HPs. I really enjoy the gameplay for this class, by the way. Well, I really enjoy the Old Republic, let's put it that way. Let's make it as broad as possible. Okay. Just destroy these things. Um. And we have our choice of going... I think we'll go this way first. And I guess we'll retrieve the equipment. Because we're going to be going back to the... So, random groups of guys. Oh, wrong button. I really don't need save reward for this thing. I just hope it regens before my next major battle. Maybe I'll spend some time on these lesser bastards. Just to regen my save reward. I need the reprogram droids. Okay, guy in the center. Slave Rebellion Leader. 1000 HP. Maybe I won't fuck with him yet. He's got enough HP to make things miserable. Renegade Trooper. I can't possibly imagine why anyone would rebel against the justice of the Empire. Let me tell you. Okay, I want to use this immediately. Huh. Well, this program guard droid will serve my purposes in its death. That level up came pretty well timed. And when I get vet and another level up in all my class training and stuff, then I might be ready for that blood fight contest thing. Oh, it's just so badass. Lay waste to these bitches. That'll teach you the price for defying this. Because, uh, like I said, I've kind of mentioned and I've kind of displayed that my character has a sense of honor. Now, still kind of dark sidey, but I'll bet you my light is still better than my dark. Yep, <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm going to end up on light one and I won't be able to use a red lightsaber crystal anymore. That's That should be like a red flag to my instructors and stuff. Past. I'm sorry, retaliation. Which I guess makes sense as a name. It's not the easiest thing in the world to kill these many droids, but you know, gotta try. Alright. God, the stun effect, the damage. The sheer raw damage is just lovely. I wonder how long Repost stays. Probably until. 
the end of the fighting, I would suppose. Okay, objective is that way. I've gotten a little bit sidetracked. I'm just having so much fun, doll. Killing this criminal scum. See, now I've gone and made things hard on myself. Well, marginally difficult. A little bit. I'm already, like on these early levels, having a rested bonus really makes an enormous difference. Let me just make sure Unnatural Might is on. Shicho form is always on. At least until I find something better to replace it with. That's a pretty Sithy way to do things. Sith Inquisitor over there. Well, since you're busy being injured, I'll take this one for you. Good sir. Good Ratatouki or whatever, whatever in God's name that species' name is. They're not humans and they're not pure blood Sith, which means they are. I love how the the Inquisitor recharge animation appears to be menacing pacing. That makes sense. Oh, I'll take these guys. Ho ho ho. What I'm really looking for is the droids. Ah. Story area. Group phase. Anyone can enter. That's not where I'm going. I'm glad I looked. Ah. Oh, this guy is so screwed. Man, he was just... Mega uber screwed. Ooh, this is gonna be... Um... Fun. Come on, come on, Force Charge. Yes. Damn. Taste the vengeance and the glory of the dark side. <laughs> ah, the beasts fall to my hand. Whatever's making that noise doesn't sound like a particularly friendly thing. Okay, the objective is actually right over here. Darth Douchebag actually mentioned that uh, there would be other students trying to find these, and I don't think he was talking about other player characters. He meant, like, other characters in the story would be trying to find this shit. So I expect the final one to be a confrontation of some sort. Or object. Is there anything I love more than the dark side and killing? It's history. You gotta be respectful of your own history. Lock chest. A lot of security chests down here. I guess that makes sense. Frilled leatherous jacket. Ooh, the frills make it better. They really do. Huh. Doesn't look any different. But I assure you, the frills... I mean, it's only the highest quality. Man, I emptied my inventory before I started this session. I'm really glad I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have space for all this stuff. Might buy an inventory slot. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, the invisibility thing or whatever you just did is pretty badass. I'll, uh, I'll admit that. Alright, there's nothing for me down there yet. It's weird that I would even be able to go in there without having the quest at all. Alright, this is gonna give me... This is actually gonna give me that objective. That's pretty cool business. Sith Warrior would be at home on any Reddit thread, really. Space Reddit. Okay, return. Huh. Graphical glitches every day. So, we're actually... Like I said, I'm eager to get the shards done. We lose our rested bonus already. If... Uh... Treetop Ocelot suggests that it's probably linked to like, leveling up tends to lose you the bonus, and there's probably a lot of merit to that idea. 
Which is why in the early levels you lose it a lot quicker. On the later levels you don't level up every session, so... A lot less of that happening. Can I cheese my way past this obst- Oh, I can! I did it! And get myself stuck on some retarded bit of geometry. As long as it's the bit of geometry that advances me. <laughs> and yes, if you're telling me right now that it would be quicker just to go around, or even like kill these guys and then go around than doing that, you're probably on the right on this one. Admitting mistakes is not the Sith way, however. You know what, maybe it should be. We're gonna work towards a better Sith Empire together. As I mentioned before, I'm a patriot. Okay, uh, oh, well, if it's right up there. I will cut out any completely superfluous fights, though. Like those things. Here we go. Equipment, you ink. Man, you got chased in here? Did the renegades help you or some shit? Oh, god damn it. Also, maybe I know if someone was sending a message if I had actually said it on the correct chat. Doesn't look like anyone's been talking, though. Sith comm channels tend to be a lot quieter than uh, pubber comm channels. Okay, equipment. Uh, God. I get the feeling that bastard has something. Well, let's give it... Let's give it a yeoman's effort. At least try killing a couple of these guys and see what pops up. Oh, wow, that was pretty badass. If I may humbly say so. Frilled leatherous boots. The frills make it better. I'd rather have the stats on that one, frankly. Fundamentally, basically. I'm just gonna go for the next objective on the story quest. I really don't think I can do that guy. Maybe maybe if I use all the tricks in my sleeve and med pack. I'm trying to get a lot more liberal about the use of med packs because in every game I tend to hoard medical equipment, which isn't necessarily bad by itself. Okay, the data log is recovered, so that yeah, that won't be a difficult one. Are you in my way? You're in my way. You might even help me satisfy my objective here. Now I get the dramatic battle music. Interesting. You guys. Man. I love doing that. Oh. Well, that was not too difficult, which I guess makes sense. I mean, tutorial planet. Even the Sith have to know that you gotta make your tutorials awesome. Nice. Leather well, belt, gotta check every new bit of equipment that comes through just to make sure it's crappier than what I have on. Luckily, that's easy to do at a glance. The inventory system is. I actually like how it's done. Fundamentally, basically. Alright. Last. Last objective in here. So we will attempt to avoid engagements wherever possible. I don't think it'll be possible to sneak through, sneak past that one. No, we're just gonna have to go in. That's fine, as long as the damn thing doesn't dodge my shit. Doing a little bit of DPS. And twitch all your want. You're still dead. I'd go exploring a little bit more, but I'm not exactly pressed for time, but I still have half an hour before the server goes down. Gotta fight him too. Uh, having him miss half his health immediately is good for my chances in the fight, let's put it that way. I just love the red glow that this Sith War Sword puts out. Like, I could buy a better sword at the market, but I guarantee you it wouldn't give the red glow. 
I can almost guarantee it. You can never be sure with the Old Republic. Alright, it's this way. Looks like two more Shriekers, and that'll be it. It's kind of crazy. Getting some frame rate stutter. I don't know exactly why that is. I might have a look at the settings after this fight. Yeah. I'm gonna stew in my rage. Alright, I can't do it, but. Graphics. Shadow quality, low. How about off? It didn't seem to do much. In fact, if I might venture a guess, that seems to have made it worse. It's Bloom. But if I take that off, the game might crash, and I don't want to crash, so I'm just gonna... get through this area. I have to have Bloom on for hologram conversations, which admittedly I haven't seen much of in this. I mean, there have been a couple. So I guess the best thing to do would be just grin and bear it. Also, I think I'd better prepare before I pick up this last shard. Okay. That's it? Huh. That's just strange, I mean... You'd think there would be some attempt to... You know... There'd be some story thing here, but... Nope. Oh man, this fight's gonna come down to the wire. Ooh, nice. That was a opportunely timed level up. So I think what I'm going to do now is... Let's check the map. Okay, everything is at the Academy, which means we are go for fast travel immediately. That's about 5-10 minutes of walking right there. Now, of course, we're not tracking the Heroic Plus 2s, but... In fact, I don't know if I'll get to those tonight. I might do them another time. I'm not... We, I mean, they're only Heroic Plus 2s, so it might be possible, but I don't know. I'm gonna sell my stuff off really quickly to the nearest vendor. We'll be right back. Ah, the good old Sith Academy. I will admit, I am very impressed with the design work. I've actually got a lot to talk about with people. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is return to the... Or actually, since it's all the same, I am going to do the story first, which is not something I normally do. Oh, also, I'll get my level up skills. Sounds like a good business. I'm going to show you the entire walk this time, because, um, because I feel like it. That probe droid is injured. It's more injured than before. You are strong, but you could be stronger. Ravage. Well, I move the med packs. Make way for Ravage and some level ups to our abilities. Ravage, series of lightsaber attacks. All right, that looks like Master Strike, which means that looks like good business. So I'm going to switch those two around. All right, yeah. Now, not Master Strike is seven. Show no mercy. There we go. We've got a full hot bar, everybody. Next time I get a new ability, I'm going to enable the second one. And the story is... over there. Oh, and I get a sprint ability on, like, level, what, 14, 16? Things will get a little easier. In any case, it's time to go talk to Darth Douchebag. Also, remember not to call him that in his presence. I suspect that would be bad for your general level of health. You... you did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. Yeah. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. Really? Think about this, guys. The fact that you're trying to mug me means you're obviously afraid to go in there for yourself, right? And if I didn't break a sw then yes, that happens. Stop! I I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. I barely escaped. 
I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. And cowardly. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. Run away. Well, why don't you flee? Get off the planet. Give up trying to be Sith. You can't get off Korriban without official clearance. I might be able to hide in the wilds, but I wouldn't survive long. How about you go back and try again? Then be a man and try to get the shards again. I... I can't go back in there. I just can't. I've heard of a mad hermit in one of the tombs who welcomes failures from the trials. Maybe I'll seek him out. Sounds like your only choice, man. I'm not giving you my fucking shards. Especially after you jumped me for it. Sometimes I'll show pity and mercy. Sometimes, but... Man, nope. Not that time. The prodigal supplicant returns. And with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde. Superb. It seems your hopes have been dashed, Vemran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse, Vemran Supplicant. He expected you to fall on your face. This is old hat for Vemran. He should be used to disappointment by now. The tension is thick between you two. A great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. I have an idea. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. Aww. This is as it should be. Get used to being in my shadow. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vimran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant! Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. Great. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance. But there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. Oh yeah? I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the forbidden cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. They will fail. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. I guess I'm fine with that. <laughs> Great. Well, quest rewards are always good for selling. I guess it should have been something at a sign that Darth Douchebag is a level 50, and our old master was like, what, level 7? <laughs> I really like that NPCs have levels because it's a little point of interest. Normally, with most NPCs, their actual combat capabilities doesn't come up as a matter. Just take that on your legs. Onwards to vets, and then we can turn in all these quests and start accumulating affection. Which is... <laughs> Games where, like, and then a lot of games, like, obviously any game where there's, like, affection is, it's quantified, and you can do certain things to manipulate it, and I never know what to make of that, These really. new recruits are worthless. Braggarts, children, slaves, not even a pure blood among them. Sith blood's not everything. Lord Thrain dislikes my apprentice's privileged attitude. Then he will never be Sith. A pity. He seemed strong. Not strong enough for the tombs. I have seen to that. 
Wow. Valuable resources? Pfft, he would die. Give it a rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Uh, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Uh, nice work if you can get it. I agree. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. <laughs> who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Fair point. Uh, consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? Yeah, kinda. Yes, and I'd appreciate your help. Don't bother being pleasant. Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a high level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play a tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. Aww. <laughs> no, you aren't. <laughs> I promise you I won't require a maid. Well then, maybe things are looking up for me. As if they could get worse. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking points throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Awesome! Say hello to Vet, everybody. Codex entry. Basically, she's more or less light sided. She's basically Mission Veo from KOTOR 1. Blaster pistol, cunning, endurance. Yeah, she's. Fairly smuggler. I'm pretty sure she's the romance option for a male Sith warrior. Okay. How's your gear? Better than what I can give you. Now I know there's some place in the codex that lets you look up how companions feel about certain types of gifts. Oh, that must be in the Star Wars Old Republic wiki. I encourage you to look that up before giving them tons of gifts. And gifts are a very handy way. If, if you're not normally the type of character who would make a companion happy, like if you're a douchebag or you're a white knight or something and your character doesn't appreciate that, gifts are a very nice way to tip the tables in your favor. Well... I guess we're safe for the moment. I'm trying to th there's something that occurred. I think we'll go good good together. Because my thinking is Shorviak is a big dude, he's a bulky type, you know, body type three. He just looks like he'd be more of a uh, tank class. Especially if vets going pew pew and DPSing all the way to the bank. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. Is your stuff, bro? It's all here. Calmly. Oh, only my lightsaber. Oh, yeah. Everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? Will you be okay? There's nothing I can't handle. If you're certain. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's time that I be going. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm, I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. Maybe. Return of the Inquisitor, who is on the... Oh wait, we're on the bottom level. I got a little confused. Okay, Inquisitor is there, and then Rogues is the other Inquisitor. Let's definitely get all this stuff turned in. Make Vet activate the hidden switches. 
I get the feeling we're going to get mouthed off to a little bit. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. Cool. Anything for a fellow Sith. As it should be. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Accommodation for Korriban, and a medium credit box, and dark side points. Good. Because it's not like Mass Effect where you accrue Paragon and Renegade points independently. Your track along the alignment is determined by the net of your light and your dark side. So maybe I'll manage to stay neutral. I'm not trying to be a white hat most of the time. I just, you know. Alright, five commendations. And actually, a very respectable amount of money. You know what? I feel good for tricking that Jedi now. Money makes all the pains. Makes it all better. Saves your conscience. Money's just great. How very American of me. Oh, she automatically gives my uh, unnatural might buff. There we are. Ah, approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. You see it correctly. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but threatened to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. Awesome. To hear. Level 9 already, yeesh. That's awesome. And we're near the trainers, so may as well pop in. Is there a direct path between the two areas? It looks like there are. Yes. This is good. The Force is a weapon. I will show you how to wield it. Unleash. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use that too much, because I'm probably going to forget it exists. Show no mercy. Suppose I'd better toggle the extended bar. All the same, just to prepare for the future. Also, uh, when is server maintenance happening? 15 minutes. How long ago was that message? I think I might have time for that one fracking quest. You know the one I'm talking about, the Blood Legacy. Yeah, now we're level nine. We have a companion. We have new. We have new skills. We are gonna rip the shit out of that fucking blood monster, fucking thing, piece of shit. He said eloquently. But still qualifies as a guest, right? Yep. Well, I mean, we don't really have any crew skills to send her on yet. That will come soon, though. Ten minutes. Alright, we have just enough time to get this done, I'm thinking. And then that'll be... That'll be a good session. Okay. Collect a skull from the Altar of Bones. So I had that... I completed the bonus last time. Oh, man, that DPS. Look at that DPS. Oh, my God. Excuse me while I freak the hell out. Vet probably doesn't have basic equipment, does she? Yeah, she doesn't have gloves on. So here, have some gloves. That'll just increase her already. How long will the servers be down? Generally a couple hours. Perfect time to have a conversation. Oh. The thing you gotta be careful for is though... Vet gives so much DPS out that uh, she will tend... Did I take damage over time from blood? No, that'd be weird. She tends to make enemies really mad because of her high uh, DPS. Really high DPS. That's actually... That's just what I need. If she does that... In fact, let's just get to the tomb. 
kill the monster. We've already done the bonus, so we can't do it again. That's... Because that makes sense. Can't be exploited as easily. Yoink. Can't help but wonder what Vet thinks of the whole blood ritual. This is straight out of the Satanism book, folks. Okay. This time, things will go differently. Because I demand it. This time, I'm gonna force jump that fucker. Yeah. Saber War. What up a Saber War? Oh goodness. I'm not sure how to drag her away from that. Even so, she is serving as an able strategy. I should use Ravage. There we go. Yeah, Ravage did it. I have to remember I have that now. See, now that. Vet got a little ripped up, but even she's fine. These bracers are mine. I'll give these to Vet. There we go, that's another bit of basic armor. Vet's boots are better. Just a check. Vet doesn't really need the strength attribute much, as you may imagine. A couple, four hours? No, just four hours. Geez. I heard the screams of the Shyrax and the rippling of the blood pool. I heard the sounds of death. You're creepy as fuck. I know you brought the red stain skull. And I must say, I am pleased. I completed the rite then. As so many Dark Lords have before you. The skull you carry, your rage, your actions drowned it with the dark side. It is part of you. I can read it. I can offer a small gift, but more than that, I can offer a glimpse of your destiny. There's much I can read in the bones. Tell me what you see. I want to know. Very well. Listen carefully. The key to your success is a small and sorry creature, but you can shape it in your image if you so desire. Huh? What key? What creature? That is all I see for certain. I can say no more. So Prize what you have accomplished here. You are part of a tradition almost as old as Korriban itself. And you have done well. Goodbye now, young Sith. This lesson is complete. I mean, you had to try it twice, but hey. No, you still did good. Great. Well, things are still going reasonably well, I figure. Thing. I think that's a pet you can get or some shit. Well, that's everything turned in. We've got vet everybody. She's just a guest right now, but she will be a permanent companion. And that makes a very good session of Let's Play the Old Republic. I'm Hunter Black Luna. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.